Hello, my name is Wendy Jimenez Castillo and I am currently an ophthalmic tech, a microbiologist, and a certified pharmacy technician. I am from a small border town called Eagle Pass, Texas, but I currently reside in New Braunfels, Texas, where I work as an ophthalmic technician for a company or an ophthalmic practice called Westlake Eye Specialist. Um, they have three locations in New Braunfels, Kyle, and Austin, Texas. Um, I work for a group of ophthalmologists who are some of the best in the nation. They do cataract surgery, glaucoma, and all these other type of specialties. And they just come from Harvard Medical School and Cornell. And I'm just so privileged to work for people who are highly intelligent and um, contributing their best effort to the medical field. Um, I have about six months working at Westlake Eye Specialist. I do pre-diagnostic testing. I do um, imaging from the back of the eye. I assist in minor surgeries, in-office minor surgeries. Uh, before that, I worked at in a microbiology lab in San Antonio, Texas when the pandemic started, through some of the pandemic, and um, it was just very challenging running all those COVID samples, um, delivering all the results to the state. And my day-to-day -day just consists of patient interaction, helping them cope with any eye diseases they might have, and just being there for them, um, doing all the testing that's required that the ophthalmologist um, best needs for detecting these diseases. Um, now, I know it's not as imminent as an ICU nurse or an MD, but I believe vision is just very important. It's one of the most important senses. Without it, it'd be very difficult to navigate through the world. And so being able to be a part of that is just very, very significant. And I'm just very passionate about it. Before heading to college, I also obtained my pharmacy technician certification. So being able to provide people with their medication and knowing how to dispense and um, just dilute everything and all that stuff is is really awesome. Um, I would say I'm a pretty well-rounded person, which is great. I can do a little bit of everything. I'm pursuing a master's degree um, in microbiology and biotechnology from Harvard Medical School, so I'm very excited to hopefully start that next year. And I just want to develop new technologies to improve human health and prevent and treat diseases as best as I can, and we'll see where that takes me 5, 10, 15 years from now. I chose he healthcare because I'm just devoted to helping all those people around me and those that people love and just contribute everything I can to help this world. Being able to run rapid COVID testing and possibly um, have people quarantine and prevent exposure was, is extremely important right now. And um, aiding in diagnosing an eye disease like glaucoma that leaves people blind is also extremely important. And of course, also um, any medication that people need, I'm able to assist with that. So that's incredible. Um, there are three things that motivate me. God, my family, and everyone around me for those three things. I will do anything, and because of those three things, I am where I'm at now, and I'm just so grateful, and that's what I strive for in life. Um, my favorite pump-up song or go-to is This Is How We Do It. I actually danced that with my husband two years ago when we got married, and I just can't help but dance every time I hear it. Um... My highly myopic eyes is probably why I went to the eye field because I've been wearing glasses since I was three years old, so that's probably one of my biggest passions. And my usual Starbucks is a venti vanilla iced coffee with extra cream because I don't like it too acidic, which is probably missing the point of coffee and why well, I even drink some anyways, right? And um, one piece of advice that is invaluable to me is pretty plain and simple, never give up because if the journey's worth it, you just don't want to give up and somehow the outcome is inevitable. And you know, whether it's your midpoint or your pit, you're somewhere along that journey. And regardless, don't ever give up because one day it might not be the catalyst, it might just be the reaction you were looking for. Thank you.